Hey guys, Patriot coming to you from uh, what might be a familiar location. We're going to do some video beam shots tonight. I've got some uh, equipment dialed in here that will lock our exposure so that we can actually switch between individual flashlights and you can see a quick comparison between them. That wall that you see out in front of you that I'm designating on low with the SR90 is exactly 100 meters away. This is an electrical box. Right over here is a dumpster. There's a Palo Verde tree right over there in front of the building, and you'll notice that there's a door with that light right up above it. That's actually a, a doorway with a, a raised platform. The very corner out there of that building where it steps down, or it appears like it steps down uh, from the perspective of the camera, is 160 yards away, so we'll shine the lights up there as well. In my left hand is the Olight SR90. In my right hand is the Phoenix RC40. I'm going to keep the RC40 in the right hand and all the uh, challenging lights in the left hand. The SR90 and SR95 and uh, various forms of it, whether it be the standard or the UT, uh, are probably the closest competitors to the Phoenix RC40 from a different flashlight manufacturer. So I'm going to start with this first. You've already seen it on low. I'm going to bump it up to high there. This is a very accurate representation. I can actually adjust the... Uh, shutter speed and aperture to give me a very close representation of what we're seeing. You can see those little uh, yellow blockades down there in front of the doorway. SR90 does really good. It's about 110,000 candela throw and about 1600 lumens. Okay, let's go ahead and turn on the RC40. Okay, here's the RC40 on high. You can see that uh, we actually exceed the throw of the SR90 a little bit and we go from about 1600 lumens all the way up to 3500 lumens here on turbo. You can see just a lot more uh, spill light out there, just a broader beam. You can see everything at that door and around it down there. Let's go back to the SR90. Here's the SR90, much narrower beam. Focused, a good looking beam, but not nearly as useful as a, of a uh, search beam as the Phoenix RC40. Okay, RC40 again. You can see it really illuminates right out there to 160 yards, no problem. SR90. And once again, the RC40. And we'll try a side by side and see if that works or if it washes out the image. All right, now I've got the uh, Nightcore TM26. This is also a 4 XML LED. About the same lumen output as the RC40. Big difference in throw, about 40,000 candela compared to 126,000 candela. The beam on this thing is really amazing. It is one big, huge wall of light. Although at 40,000 candela, it's no slouch. It does very, very good on the throw scale. We're just uh, putting out a lot more throw than almost any typical pocket light or EDC light, even out there to 160 yards at the corner of that building. Okay, RC40. Very similar in lumen output, it's just that they uh, distribute those lumens differently. Okay, back to the TM26. <laughs> that is one big wall of light. It would make a great search for, um, searchlight for under 150 yards or so. Back to the RC40. And both at once. I'm not sure how good this is going to work. In the left hand, we've got the Phoenix TK75. In the right hand, the Phoenix RC40. The TK75 is actually the closest light to the RC40 in my tests. About 90,000 candela, 2,600 lumens versus 
126,000 candela and 3,500 lumens. You can see how good this little <laughs> TM or uh, TK75 does. It's really amazing for its size. Nice warm beam out of it. All the way out there to 160 yards. And now the RC40. A little bit more intense hotspot. More spill. As impressive as the TK75 is, the RC40 just one-ups it. Okay, TK75. Good broad beam. I find it a lot more useful than the SR90. Just a little different technology there. Okay, back to the RC40. Amazing how bright it is out there at that wall, just to the right of the uh, dumpster here. And both at once. See it up there on that white roof line. See this pillar. You can actually see a slightly different color on that pillar with these lights. The SR90, it all looks like one color. All right, guys, for the final test, I've got the Polarian PH50 in the left hand and the RC40 in the right hand. I'm gonna go ahead and make sure that this is on level, or highest level, because sometimes when I turn on the HID, I can't tell. All right, here's the uh, Polarian. Remember, all the exposures and everything are locked in. Let's just see how intense, I mean, on this electrical box here at about uh, 45 yards or so, it is just insane. All right, let's go ahead and turn on the RC40. Okay, we're looking at about 126,000 candela versus 400,000 plus out of the Polarian. And it does that with a smaller overall aperture as well. Okay, back to the Polarian. You can see a big color difference uh, in this line up here and this pillar as opposed to the brick. You can really distinguish between colors. Some bats flying around up there. They look very brown with this light. Okay, RC40. So you can see this RC40 is really amazing. I mean, it's it's next to one of the most powerful handheld searchlights available out there today, and uh, and you can see it does very respectably. Uh, been very impressed with this light overall. I've had a really fun time testing it. You can see the colors are a little bit more uh, washed out, a little bit closer together. You don't see the, the difference there. I guess this is probably about a 5,500 5, Kelvin beam as opposed to 4,200 Kelvin. Okay, back to the pH 50. See how that color stands out? It jumps out a little bit more. One more time with the RC40. No question about uh, what's out there. I can certainly see all around that door out there. This light does really good. All right, and then finally together, you can see I can switch that Polarian on and off very quickly. It has uh, instant uh, restrike capability. Probably catch those bats up there flying around. There's one right there. There's two. <laughs> All right, guys. So, uh, you know, pretty close to HID. They're, they're going to be there uh, eventually. So we'll keep watching these LEDs. And uh, so far, I've got about the most awesome LED search light in a portable format that I can imagine here in the RC40. It's uh, one heck of a nice light.